your first time here hi my name is sarah and thank you so much for stopping by if you're new here and you don't know welcome to my channel so a couple of weeks ago i traveled to accra ghana and i have been dropping vlogs and vlogs about that it was honestly just good vibes i just went there to explore and i feel like i did a lot of exploring i'm not done yet <laughs> hopefully i'm going to go back but yeah so um this video is just going to be highlights on my trip. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and stick to the end. And let's get right into this video. So this was just me coming to Accra. I have a vlog on that. I'm going to leave it in the cards up so you, you can watch. And then I had my COVID test. I left all the information in that video. This was where I stayed. I stayed at Lizzie Sports Complex. I'm going to be dropping an apartment tour. I don't know if I've dropped that video already or it's going to come after this, but regardless, you're going to find that on my channel. And this apartment cost me $50 per day. Honestly, this is a steal. <laughs> look at this place for crying out loud. You guys just look at this place. This cost me only $50 per day. And I feel like for the location I stayed, which was East Legon, that was honestly cheap if you ask me and there was 24 hours electricity 24 hours water 24 hours wi-fi everything was there and they would restock your toiletries everything and it was only 50 dollars this is just like your mini guide if you decide that you want to visit ghana so when it comes to transportation 99.9 percent .9 of the time i used uber um bolts I, I was actually using bolts but like we're just used to calling it uber i use bolts 99 percent of the time but then for just for a video one day i decided to use trotro and i don't even think i recorded that video because i think at the first stop i dropped not because like it was bad or anything but i was just uncomfortable of course i've been on public buses before not like i haven't been on public buses but i just i was just uncomfortable and it was just for the experience to see how we was in Ghana. Yeah. Snappy one. Snappy one. <laughs> um, so when it comes to transportation, you can use boats, you can hire a car, whatever. But I personally used boats 99% of the time. Of course, I watched a lot of Ghana vlogs before I visited Ghana. Trust your girl. I feel like everybody does that. If you're visiting a place, you have to watch like a lot of the vlogs about that place and black star square was one place i wanted to visit so i went there and yeah i didn't climb the top that top place because on this day i just wasn't feeling myself i don't know why i had a headache because of this song. i was lucky enough to get some pictures i made a friend there she told me to take her pictures and we exchanged instagram accounts and yeah it was good the view was beautiful the place is maintained perfectly and yeah after that i visited the arts and crafts market and yeah i'll just let you guys watch how we went anytime you come to ghana they should ask for who jaguar jaguar, jaguar. okay the guy who never lost his okay <laughs> yeah. where from nigeria oh ekaro ekaro oh ekaso <laughs> i'm not here but oh so well are you go Assalamu alaikum. Yadi. Lafia. Can you house me? Can you house me? Can you don't want any? Gas is not as Ghana. So one thing I was told about the arts and craft market is that um you normally find things more expensive here because foreigners visit there a lot. But honestly, what is new? I feel like it's normal for every country. Regardless, I got a lot of stuff from there because I saw a lot of stuff that I liked. Oh, actually, this is modern chart okay and this is life is this prayer shop we have to remote it for you mm -hmm. 
Man is reminded to pray, right? Yeah, these days you have to have to pray always. If you work in the morning, you have to pray. Allah. I like this. This is like okay, my, together. man and woman. Uh, so you cannot buy one. You can. Okay. Oh, if you want one, you can buy one. As long as you, you can hang it on the wall like this. Mm -hmm. You see. Or mm -hmm. you can put it on this like this. Mm -hmm. It depends. You want the woman or you want the man? The woman. Which one is the woman? Which one? How much? Okay. Gold. So you have gold in Ghana? Yeah. Yeah, we have gold, but it's very scared to have it. Unless you have money. <laughs> yes, we have a lot of gold. <laughs> so when they come, they should ask of who? Docker. Docker. Okay. So when you come, ask of Docker. So she sells nice things. Nice dresses. I like it. They are saying you buy you. Everybody with it. It's for a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's so lovely. Yeah, ah, good. That's my. <laughs> Yeah, good good that. name. Yeah. Good that. That's it. It's fear, and that's on period, and I'm with fear too. <laughs> yeah, that's all these pants, and I want to get like wrap pants. So I want to get this one for myself and my sisters. My sisters. Yes, I have two sisters. <laughs> Let me see, are there other colors? She likes green. She really likes Look, green. See, this one is the same but different color. See. Okay, yes, yes, yes. You see this green? It's, it's the same as this, but this is the green one. Green, okay. So should I bring the green down? Yeah, bring the green. She really likes the green. Okay, then we will bring the green. I want something that like will go with anything yeah, she's but, wearing. Yeah, and then this one, the, this X green, yeah. The and then there is the proper cake. So it's yeah. How much? Yeah, do you know what car was? I'm thinking of my luggage. <laughs> the bag. See, keep the bag. Yeah. So, nice to start from Nigeria, come to Africa. And Ghana, number one. <laughs> Africa, we have number one. Ghana, what do I see? Okay. After that, I went to this market that was close to it and I also got some stuff. Honestly, I just wanted to get souvenirs. <laughs> so for trips i took about two trips and we're going to be talking about this first one so this trip was to ebri yeah ebri i believe that's how it's called and the journey was i think a little over let me say an hour 30 minutes or about an hour to an hour 30 minutes i can't really remember honestly to get to ebri and this was this from Accra. we went by road um we had an uber and he took us there so first impressions y'all look at this place this place looks so beautiful I, I remember wanting to go to this place from seeing someone's picture on instagram and i was just mind blown when i saw her picture i was like is this place in ghana i have to go to this place and then i visited it it was very serene peaceful beautiful and it was very very well maintained like the maintenance was amazing if you go to um Ibri, you should take a picture here um yeah i'm going to insert a picture i took here <laughs> tell me so um there's also this plane i don't know if it was an emergency landing or was a plane crash the story was not very clear but yeah that was there and people take pictures there but i didn't take any picture there after that i went to Peduce or Peduce, I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, yeah, I went to Peduasi. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's like a resort. Um, we stayed here for a while, 
and yeah just look at how this place looks it's, it was so beautiful and i took a picture there and funny enough after i took a picture there i saw somebody somebody that i'm following like taking a picture there on instagram and i was like oh so people know this place <laughs> of course they do this was chapman i'm not i'm not bashing or anything but i just haven't seen chapman this color before so it was kind of weird to me and yeah so i took pictures there and i got nice pictures actually i really like the pictures check on my instagram again to see those pictures and follow me if you're not following me already i got some bomb apps pictures i'm so happy i wasn't so happy about the other ones but i'm so happy about this one yeah they also met this Ghanaian celebrity i don't know who he is but apparently he's an actor he's fine though and yeah that was it for that day so moving ahead i visited no choir um a little backstory about this brand so i saw this brand first on dima Ome's post i think it was one of our skincare videos then i decided to order from their website but when i ordered i think they refunded me back my money just because it was during the lockdown so i couldn't get it to me guys i was so sad because i remember that time i was kind of having a battle with my skin but i finally finally got to and that time i don't think they had a distributor in nigeria or, or at least i didn't know about any so i finally decided i was like yo i have to come to this place when i come to accra the customer service was amazing the um the person the attendants here even took me some pictures really nice pictures she was very nice to me and immediately i thought she was like oh you're nigerian i just laughed but yeah i think my accent gave me away so these are the stuff i got from nokare so excited to try them out i've been using them amazing so far yes yeah, so um that was that this was another different day i visited the mall this was Accra mall i just i entered i think this was shop right yeah this was shop right i got some groceries i didn't finish vlogging because there was um one of the attendants looking at me funny so i just left <laughs> after that i was just looking around i didn't i actually didn't plan to come to the mall this day but then i just came and then i got into pandora i usually buy rings from them here in nigeria so when i got to um the mall in Accra I was like here let me just enter and see if anything they have here is different trust me like I don't think anything was different most of the things were the same and but regardless I still treated myself and I got a ring and another thing the attendants were very very nice <laughs> this was how it went Sarah Well, we also have some in Nigeria, so when you go, you can send it. Yeah, I, I buy it. You buy it, okay. Yeah. But if you don't mind, you can send it. Cash, please. Thanks, baby. Turn it down, make it sweet and ready. Cause I keep it nice and steady. Know that you've been keeping patient. Yeah, after that, I just explored the mall. I got this bucket hat and some perfumes from this store. I think it was called Banana Republic. I didn't like the perfumes later on, sadly. <laughs> anyway. Now to food. I tasted food. I tasted a food from like a whole lot of restaurants actually and this was just one of them yeah this was called garage it has like an outdoor setting and we're literally sitting in a car i don't know if you guys can see it but like most of the chairs were like cars and i feel like that was so creative <laughs> that was very creative it looks good their food wasn't bad 
I'll give it like a 7 over 10 because I didn't even go halfway with my food. After that, we got into a little chit chat about Big Brother Nigeria, guys. So you guys should just listen. I didn't know this people. Like, I, didn't, I didn't know people other than Nigerians were this into Big Brother. Can you believe that? I don't know. If I'm not the only one surprised, you guys should let me know. And I was like, oh, Big Brother is starting tomorrow. And like, they were telling me that they watch Big Brother. Like, I knew that people from other countries watch, <laughs> but I didn't know that it was this much. Yeah. Even yesterday, when Yurisa was talking about it, I was like, ah, you even know all, she was calling all their names. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so after that, I visited this mall. It's called China Mall. It reminded me of China too, in a way. It had a lot of things that you'd want, like needs. Yeah. So I just visited, visited the mall with my friend. I didn't really vlog a lot, but I came here quite often, trust me, <laughs> to buy things I don't need. Anyway, after that, we've, um, I think this was a few days later, we went to the beach and we were at Sunta Beach Box. Yeah, that's what it's called, Sunta Beach Box. Yeah, you can find them on Instagram. In front of their, um, in front of the boxes the apartments whatever they have some really nice trees and stones that you can take pictures on or rather close to and it was really beautiful i took a couple of pictures there too and i lost my slippers guys my expensive slippers it was very sad very very sad <laughs> wash my ass so i can buy more <laughs> anyway yeah but and this was like the second time i was wearing the slippers so i was so sad like the water took my slippers away but regardless we move right <laughs> it was a very nice experience i just lost my slippers what are the most that slippers were freaking expensive no! <laughs> i'm so pissed that you're so expensive Remove, please don't skip my ad so that I can buy another one. After that, in the night, we had like a barbecue thing. We went out for it, but my phone was dead at that time or something. I can't remember, but I didn't vlog, Sha. <laughs> so a few days later, I took another trip. I went to Takradi. I went to Takradi, um, which is in the Western Union. <laughs> I said Western Union. Western region of Ghana and my trip was about four hours from Accra. There, there are flights if you want to go by flights. But my my trip was literally a last minute trip, so um, I just went by road. And I honestly didn't think it was worth it to spend like I think double or triple. I honestly didn't think it was um, worth it to spend like times ten the price, literally times ten the price, to get a ticket rather than just going. And I met up with Wadimaya. Hopefully, hopefully, there's going to be a video on this. So you guys should just look out for it on my channel. If you don't see it, just enjoy this one that you're seeing. And yeah. I just met the one and only Wodemaya. When did it take you to get here? Please mention my name. For us. Expect a lot of banking content from. Um, Make sure you subscribe. Uh, message. Uh, Welcome to. Uh, I'll say my village. Okay. Okay. <laughs> my village. Okay. So I went to China. Yeah. I moved from here to China. Okay. For the first time. Uh. Channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, 
Because where are we? This is Takradi, the main um, capital city of uh, Western region. Okay. My trip to Takradi was good. Um, I was grateful for all the experiences, all the moments I had in Ghana. My trip was amazing. I'm going to be uploading a video on some cultural shocks I experienced. I've already filmed that video, so I'm going to be <laughs> um, uploading that video probably next on the culture shocks I experienced. But other than that, if you're thinking of visiting Ghana, like you should visit Ghana. I feel like even if you don't have a guide, like a tour guide, you can navigate because of how friendly the people are sorry to say but i don't think nigeria is a country you want to visit alone like explore on your own no i feel like you always want to have like somebody carrying you around because <laughs> it can go wrong very fast but like i feel like ghana is somewhere you can explore on your own because there were many times i explored some places alone i didn't need help because of how friendly the people were so if this is somewhere you're thinking of visiting go for it <laughs> so other than that and it's also a nice place for vacation if you want to just go and chill cool your head off i saw a lot of places like that a lot of places i wanted to visit but i didn't have the time hopefully i will next time so yeah i really really hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah this was just like a snippet literally a snippet of my experiences because i spent a total of three weeks and five days in ghana but I only vlogged for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. So you, you can imagine like how many more experiences I had that I didn't vlog. That was because I just wanted to take in some moments and just enjoy myself, honestly. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for reaching the end of this video. If you got to the end, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm really trying to get to 70k subscribers. It will mean the world to me if you subscribe and get me 70k subscribers. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Yeah.